This is called Erasma. This is actually a really amazing program. It's free from the App Store. If you have an iPad or iPhone, you can put it on either. And I'm going to show you how to use this today, and then it's up to you guys to decide how you can use it in the classroom. So you're looking for the purple A icon. It's actually going to be on your iPad. Watch the full video first, and then you guys can go and see what you can do with it. So I'm going to look for the Erasma icon right here. And that brings it in. And right now it's actually searching for something. You see those white dots moving back and forth? That's searching for an image. You're going to define what the image is in just a little bit. But first we want to make a new one. So I'm going to click on this, the little A on the bottom. That brings in a bunch of projects that I've been working on. But I want to make a new one. So if I go up to the bottom here, there we go, and hit the plus, then I see a bunch of kind of like clip art animations that you can put in your stuff if you want to, but we want to make our own. So we're going to click on device, and once we're in device, we're going to click on the plus. That allows us to access our camera, so we click on camera. And now we want to make a video. So the video is going to be, so make sure you're on video, I'm going to flip the screen, and I'm just going to say, hi, today we're learning about Erasmus. Now, it can hold up to 100 megs in your video. So your videos do have to be kind of short, not too long. But 100 megs is pretty good for each, uh, they call them auras, each aura you make. So there's the video. I want to use it, so I'm going to click on Use Video. And it wants me to name it. So right now, I'm just going to go in here. And I'm going to name this Test. But you really want to name it based on what you're working on. So if you're doing a book or if you're doing um, a lesson, make sure you name it after your lesson so you can keep track of everything. Now it's asking me for an image. It wants to see an image that's going to trigger the video. So they call it a trigger image. So I'm just going to use my badge right now. And if you look at the bottom here, the bottom has a little meter that tells you if the image is good or not. If it's in the red, it's not very good. If it's in the black or if it's in the green, then it's good. So I'm just going to use my image here. It looks like it likes the name at the top because that's well defined. Wait for it to get into the green and focused and then hit the camera. Now, I didn't hit it right on time, so usually you won't have to hold both at the same time, so it might be a little bit easier for you guys. So, get it, and, ah, there it is. Okay, so now, it's looking to put the overlay, which is the video, on top of the image. Today we're learning about today we're learning about so now, I'm going to hit this little purple arrow. It takes me in, it asks me to name the whole thing, the combination of the image and the video. So I'm going to click on here, I'm going to call it test again, giving the names the same, Say done. And as it loads, it's already loading. Now it's ready to go. So when it goes over here, it's now going to tell you in about a second that your video is ready to go. There it goes. Your video is ready to go. So now what happens is it's looking for the trigger image. So I have my trigger image, which happens to be my badge. I put it on here. And let's see if it recognizes. Hi. Today we're learning about Erasmus. So this is called augmented Hi. reality. So you can actually see. Oops, how the video is on there. Now, if I take it out of there, it doesn't, it might stop, but it stays with the image for the most part. You can also turn off the loop. You can actually add some functionality to it. There's a bunch of things you can do. The basic one for the iPad and, and iPhone just does this, but you can go online and change a bunch of stuff. It's all free. So, check it out.